There's a classic theme in human nature that warns of the dangers of greed, an impulse that can lead to financial loss, missed opportunities, and compromised well-being. In the modern financial world, where fast profits from risky investments are more accessible than ever, this cautionary tale is especially relevant. The Allure of Greed A Gateway to Financial Loss Imagine someone who, upon hearing about skyrocketing returns in cryptocurrencies or high-risk stocks, decides to put in their hard-earned savings without much research, driven by the hope of multiplying their wealth quickly. At first, the returns look promising, reinforcing the thrill of making easy money. However, these gains can often be fleeting, especially with volatile assets where prices can drop just as quickly as they rise. Greed, fueled by the initial success, may push them to invest even more, eventually leading them to bet on questionable platforms, risky tokens, or get-rich-quick schemes. This story is common in various sectors, from real estate bubbles to online trading and, more recently, crypto scams. Greed blinds the judgment needed to evaluate risk effectively, making it easy for bad actors or market downturns to wipe out someone's investments entirely. Dumb. When greed becomes an obsession, peace diminishes, greed isn't just about money. It's about the relentless pursuit of more, which often disrupts life balance. Someone constantly checking stock prices, obsessively reading about new investment opportunities, or stressing over market movements can quickly lose sleep, damage relationships, and neglect other aspects of their life. The obsession with maximizing returns comes with heightened anxiety, fear of missing out, and ultimately, loss of inner peace. Have lessons in finding peace with what you have. Staying at peace financially doesn't mean avoiding investment altogether. It's about learning to find a balance between ambition and contentment. Here are some ways to keep greed in check while still pursuing financial security. Here's a deeper look at each of these approaches to balancing financial ambition and mental well-being. 1. Define clear goals. Having specific, achievable financial goals serves as a personal roadmap, clarifying why you're investing or saving. Rather than chasing returns endlessly, Goals give direction and purpose to your finances, which reduces impulsive, emotionally driven investments. For example, setting a goal like save $50,000 in five years for a down payment on a house provides a measurable target. Financial planners often suggest breaking goals into short, medium, and long-term objectives. Short-term goals could focus on emergency funds, medium-term goals on buying a home or traveling, and long-term goals on retirement. Each milestone keeps you motivated while keeping greed in check, as it shifts the focus from maximizing gains to achieving meaningful outcomes. Practical tip. Visualize these goals as milestones rather than dollar amounts. Picture what it would feel like to buy a home, retire comfortably, or take a dream trip. This adds an emotional anchor, helping to resist unnecessary risk. Tap 2. Practice patience and diversification. Diversification is foundational to investing, as it involves spreading investments across asset classes, stocks, bonds, real estate, and regions to balance risk and reward. It helps avoid significant losses from any single investment's poor performance, which can occur even in traditionally stable sectors. Patience goes hand in hand with diversification. Investing steadily and consistently over time is more likely to yield sustainable growth. For instance, Many long-term investors use strategies like dollar-cost averaging, which involves regularly investing the same amount, regardless of market conditions. This approach not only minimizes the impact of short-term market fluctuations, but also helps maintain peace of mind during volatile periods. Practical Tip Review your portfolio periodically to ensure it aligns with your risk tolerance and goals, rather than attempting to time the market, which is notoriously difficult. Diversification and steady contributions create stability, reducing anxiety during economic downturns. Habit 3. Maintain financial boundaries. Setting financial boundaries, such as only investing a fixed portion of your income in high-risk ventures, helps you manage potential losses. Boundaries can be enforced through budgets, automated savings, or by having a rule that any money allocated to high-risk investments is only a small percentage of total net worth. For example, many advisors recommend allocating no more than 5 to 10% of investments to high-risk assets. 
This is critical for preserving core assets that are dedicated to longer-term financial security, like retirement accounts or savings for education. Financial boundaries also prevent emotionally driven decisions by providing a set framework to evaluate each investment decision. Practical tip. Automate transfers to safe accounts or investments every month. The more disciplined you are in sticking to these boundaries, the easier it becomes to stay at peace with your finances. 4. Embrace a mindset of sufficiency. Sufficiency, an intentional practice of recognizing and valuing what you already have, can be cultivated through gratitude exercises, mindfulness practices, or reframing how you view wealth. Studies show that people with a sufficiency mindset often experience greater life satisfaction and are less prone to financial anxiety. Instead of endlessly striving for more, a sufficiency mindset celebrates milestones, financial or otherwise. For example, instead of aiming to increase net worth endlessly, recognize the stability that current savings provide. By shifting from never enough to just enough, you can reduce the fear and stress associated with finances. Practical tip. Make gratitude a daily practice, like writing down three things you appreciate in your life. This reframes your view on wealth, allowing contentment to replace the fear of missing out on high-risk opportunities. 5. Separate money from self-worth. Equating self-worth with financial success can create a volatile relationship with money. Financial fluctuations, losses, or even a missed investment opportunity can feel like personal failures, leading to stress and frustration. To counteract this, it helps to cultivate a personal identity outside of financial achievements by nurturing hobbies, personal relationships, and areas of fulfillment unrelated to finances. Many who successfully separate money from self-worth practice detachment in investments seeing money as a tool rather than as a measure of success or failure. Instead of obsessing over every dollar, they focus on creating value in other areas of life. Practical tip. Develop hobbies or pursue activities that have intrinsic value, like volunteering, creative projects, or physical exercise. Building fulfillment outside of financial gain reinforces the belief that your value doesn't hinge on market outcomes. These strategies offer a pathway to balancing ambition with peace transforming finances from a source of anxiety into a foundation for stability and growth. In the end, staying at peace with your finances is about accepting that wealth is a tool, not a destination. Practicing patience, gratitude, and disciplined investing allows for financial growth without sacrificing well-being.